It's crazy. It's absolute ass night. Plus breaking news, the chairman of Milwaukee's Domestic Violence Commission says he's resigning because of a pick from the mayor. And that's where we begin tonight at 10 with a surprising resignation at City Hall. The chairman of Milwaukee's Domestic Violence Commission steps down in protest. He's pointing out the criminal history of the mayor's pick for the Office of Violence Prevention. Stephanie Grady live in the newsroom following the drama that's happening downtown tonight. Ben and Mary Jermaine Reed says he has resigned in protest after the mayor picked Alderman Ashanti Hamilton to lead the city's Office of Violence Prevention. Reed says Hamilton's 2009 guilty plea to a felony child abuse charge makes him a terrible choice. On Monday, Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson announced Hamilton as his pick to the Office of Violence Prevention less than a month after firing the previous director. The mayor touted Hamilton's connections, experience, and law degree, saying that make him a right fit. However, Reed, who was the chairman of the city's commission of domestic violence and sexual assault, says Hamilton's criminal troubles cannot be overlooked. In 2009, Hamilton pleaded guilty to a felony charge of child abuse after prosecutors say he hit his then six-year-old daughter with a plastic hanger, leaving marks. Hamilton and prosecutors came to a plea agreement in the case. The charge was eventually dropped after Hamilton stayed out of trouble for a year. Hamilton addressed his past on Monday, saying he has grown from his troubles 14 years ago. I think that this is a... Um, a, a reality that I had to go through, um, a learning experience that I had to uh, grow through. Um, and I think we bring our life experiences to every uh, position that we take. I brought that experience to my representation in the first Aldermanic district. Um, I brought that growth um, to understanding how to help families. Uh, and I'll bring that to this position. Cavalier Johnson, they were not political allies. You know, for years we've seen this play out in the media. You know, um, Shanti Hamilton endorsed Bob Donovan, who really didn't promote the Office of Violence Prevention. So now you're going to appoint someone who really didn't, you know, support the Office of Violence Prevention to head that department up. You have to ask yourself, what is the motive? What is the intent? And surely child safety is not a part of that equation. That's all I'm saying. Now, the mayor's office is responding to this sudden resignation. A spokesperson says in part about Hamilton, his past experience exemplifies the redemptive nature of prevention work. People who have made a mistake, recognized it, and corrected their behavior have become the most credible messengers of the possibility of change in our community. We will continue following this story. For now, though, live in the newsroom, Stephanie Grady, Fox 6 News. All right, Steph, thanks.